Hi, uh, this is Srinivas Tamara, founder of Nihilism.info and uh, we, I posted few articles about Ionic and Angular and uh, published few uh, videos as well. Like uh, someone uh, like Yogesh has requested me to implement the split pane. Uh, so I'm going to implement for the Welcome Banana project. Like, you know, this is kind of a, you know, it is, it depends on the layout. It will adjust the uh, menu, like, you know, Ionic is still improving the desktop features as well. And even you can use this framework for desktop and mobile. Yeah, I implemented this for the Banana project I have stood in the Google Cloud. You can see the view how this works, like, And if you see this project, it'll like, you know, it comes with a menu and uh, thing. And if you adjust it and it'll automatically, you know, it'll adjust everything. And based on the resolution, it'll adjust the layout. It'll, you can use, and once you log out and you can see that you will not find anything like, you know, if it is a welcome page or login page, you'll not find that uh, menu so that thing we are going to implement so i'm going to explain so there is an article like you know how as i think you, know, you will find out in the ionic blog so this is how they ex they actually uh, like all the links they provided here so let's start the project and how we're going to implement this and with uh, how to avoid this for uh, login and sign up page as well so this is our project and i hope you follow my previous videos and now we're going to implement at uh, root level because this is what my local host right now. So we don't have anything for this. Let's implement this. Now I'm just taking this code and I'm trying to implement this in the project. Now go to the app.html and paste the code which I copied from the Ionic block. I'm in the components page. And if you see here, there is a root and nav instead of the because you don't change all these things instead of this you can replace the root page because this root page is actually uh, you can comment the previous code and save it this root code actually we specified in the uh, app component you will see it is going to the welcome page so now if you say this yeah so now I implemented this and let's see the output and go here so this is what uh, we got the menu here and we'll see that it's, it's hiding now and if you uh, maximize it in the desktop size you will see this and we'll just log in and see like how and works inside so this is how it looks like uh, and now thing is like when you uh, minimize it, we don't have any like, you know, burger icon to view the menu. Uh, I mean the menu. So let's implement that first. So now go to the home page because we need to implement the button. So here is the title and the logo. So before that, I'm just creating a button and you can like there are a lot of uh, things you can find out from the component things and this is called menu toggle. Uh, to use as well toggle and, and close the button and you can specify the icon here like whatever you want like if you want to give uh, icon tag with you can specify the name of the icon so yeah, I'm just using menu if you want you can use some of the, some other thing like home or something let's save it and see the result like if you see this And if I minimize it, see, you will see the uh, burger icon here. And if I maximize it, it will hide automatically. And if you see, and yeah. So we implemented this, we can, imp you can implement the same thing for about and contact. Like you can simply copy paste this thing to all the pages, like uh, instead of login sign up, we have about and the contact. So I'll just paste it here. And if you want, you can move this icon to right side and that way, like it will edges properly, like, uh, and if you see the about page and minimize it, you'll see 
yeah and you can move this icon to here based on your design and this contact level yeah when you go to the home page and when you log out it will see the uh, see uh, still uh, you will see this thing like you know um, we don't want this for the home page like uh, if you if anybody launching this website in the like you know in the desktop you'll find this so we need to hide the stuff so for that like uh, we need to control this part i mean the page like it should only work for this and this this one we should control based on our user data once user logged in and i explained all these things uh, back long time back because if local store is there i mean local storage user data is there and we need to uh, hide it and uh, show it so based on that we can do this thing and if you go to the split panel they'll give like a lot of uh, conditions how you're going to write conditions everything so okay let's uh, for this like you know um, i'm going to write uh, i just i just want to maintain a state uh, based on the state uh, i'll control this menu if based on state true or false if the local storage is available for user data will make it true or else it's false by default let's uh, create one provider because i need to use the same file in different places like i mean like that's that way you can control this because it's a main component and the app main component root component so let me create a small uh, provider like hope you know this uh, you can generate it this way like ionic uh, generate i mean android provider let's say split pen yeah let's give the camel case and and if you see here uh, in the provider you will see the you'll you'll get everything like it will probably it's injectable component like wherever you want you can install it so now we don't want all these things uh, we are not doing any http thing and all so and we don't want this as well but uh, yeah we want some uh, platform related thing because uh, we are going to to find out the width of the device so from i think it's ionic angular so so this one i'm going to import here so we are going to use this okay let me create a small uh, state thing like you know like public um, state let's create this is actually boolean because we are going to maintain the state for uh, like true or false mm, this is like just a console like initially i'm going to set when the constructor loads like i'm going to set this value as like you know false by default yeah uh, so now so i'm just writing a small uh, 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 function here like we can use this function anywhere you want like get a split pan so here like you know uh, i'm just writing a small uh, uh, we're going to return the uh, actual value in this one and this state we are going to change here based on the uh, we have you know if you go to the home page um, home ts we have this the local storage user data based on the get item you'll get it so i'm just checking in condition like if this is available and make this value as a true Ah, uh, yeah, it's true. Or else, um, the same way it's false by default. But anyway, we'll set it up. And you know, uh, the same way we need to maintain the width as well because we cannot show every time. Because for the mobile way, we cannot show this. So, uh, uh, 
I'm just giving using the platform and the width you can find out like you can just uh, if it is uh, greater than some 850 uh, for the iPad so 850 and if it is 850 we'll make this as a true else false so um, else like if you adjust the dimensions it will based on this thing it will change so okay this is how we are actually you know uh, uh, like changing the state mm, so now uh, we implemented this uh, split pan so first we need to import this in the root component like whenever you create a new new provider or something you have to import it here so this is like split, split pan and yes And you need to import this here in the provider, like, yep. So now we imported this in the main component, like this one, we need to use it here as well. So we are going to use this file. So we need it here as well, like, so import, import speed pan, and from the same path, like we just, uh, I think you can use this. Uh, yeah, both are in the same place, so let's copy this and paste it here. Yeah, I'm done. So you have to import this in the constructor, like you know, public and split pan. Make it small for. Yep, uh, we imported this now and so we are going to use this uh, thing in the app.html. So go to the app.html, you will see the instructions for split pan. So there is a when statement like, you know, when this is true, like split pan dot get split pan. So we are whenever it is triggering whenever we launch this thing and it will trigger this and it will find out it will go to this provider and it will find out it's actually what state it is if it is this if it is true or false based on that it will return something so that value it actually based on that we are hiding this stuff just i'm saving this and we'll see this output now yeah if you see this uh we're not finding anything let me log in and see and one two three four five six and login so if you see this menu right now and based on the uh, dimensions it will adjust and and you will see these things yep uh, so this is how you can like uh, implement things and uh, if you want like uh, you can move this logo to here like i'll just uh, show you that like uh this is it's uh like you know very simple thing and uh, we already implemented this in the home page instead of the home page like uh, you can move all the stuff like uh the logout things like um, um I paste it here and the same way you can import everything like whatever we have like app and uh, might import that import like in the constructor like app colon app this actually helps you to redirect and all and it'll like this got okay set and yeah and you can move the button like you know from the home page uh, there is a home page and there is a logout functionality button and I'm just saving this up and go to the app.html and uh, yeah, you have to create a, a ionic content here. So this inside the menu part. So ion uh, content, whatever you want to display here in the menu list. Like I'm just creating like ion list and 
yeah here I'm pasting that uh, logout button let's saving it and see the output see if you see this and if you want you can just uh, disable that in the home page for the case and like okay now we implemented the logout thing uh, let me log out and you need to follow the process otherwise because if you keep refreshing the browser you will lose the data for the local storage data like it will keep changing the state so let's go here now and clicking the logout yeah it's logging off right now and uh, yep uh, yeah like uh, if you want like uh, you, you can control this little more like uh, go to the like sometime uh, uh, the menu is not hiding properly so in that case like go to the uh, component like you can import a menu controller mm. and uh, and this here like um, maybe after clear like you can use the menu and dot enable to I mean sorry enable false you need to I mean for disabling this completely so let me import that equal to what is that menu controller yeah yes uh, it's done now and if you see the thing now yep uh, so if you see this login page and shows one two three four five six and login yeah so this is what how this works and if you want like you can log out it'll log out so this enable thing when you minimize in a mobile mode sometimes it's not hiding you can use this to control the menu part as well so menu part actually uh, it refers in the if you see the app.html if you don't speed panel just drop off this thing this tag you can use this it actually control this container yeah hope uh, you can see the demo here like uh, hope i published in the like you know banana uh, dot nine lesson dot info username Srinivas and uh, password is one two three four five six yeah one two three four five six yeah you can log in and you can see the things and you can experiment with your mobile screens thank you thank you for watching it